How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I bring you my 2024 updated video on how you should charge your iPhone. So in this video I bring you my best tips and best practices to make sure your iPhone battery will last as much as it can for as many years as it can and of course give you the best performance in that time. So without further ado, Let's begin. Okay, so in this video, I'll tell you how often you should charge your iPhone. So is it okay to charge it multiple times a day or maybe you should only charge it once? Of course, I'll also talk about what's the best time to charge your iPhone. So during the day or maybe overnight when you are sleeping. We're gonna also talk about battery percentages. So is there a correct percentage in which you should keep your iPhone battery? Like for example, between zero and 80% or you could charge your iPhone all the way up to 100% and it makes no difference. And of course, I'm also gonna tell you some things that you shouldn't do if you wanna preserve your iPhone battery as much as possible. And I wanna start off talking about battery degradation. This is so important guys and this is the whole point of this video because just like every single iPhone part and every single iPhone component, your battery, it will age, it will degrade over time. Even though we can't stop this process completely, we can slow it down and that's the whole point of this video how to slow down the degradation process so how you should charge your iphone and all of those best practices in order to make sure your iphone ages much much slower okay if you want to learn everything about battery aging and battery cycles and how going through your iphone battery cycles will actually degrade your iphone battery i do recommend that you take a look at this video right here this card or link in the description down below because I have a specific video on this on battery degradation battery cycles and everything related to that but the whole point of this first portion of the video is letting you know that you can't stop battery degradation it will degrade it will age your battery health percentage will go down but we can slow this process down so how often should you charge your iPhone once a day or multiple times a day and the thing is there is no correct answer because it makes no difference you can charge your iphone as many times as you want as many times as you wish and it makes absolutely no difference and what about what's the best time to put your iphone to charge you plug it in and charge your iphone and again makes no difference you can charge it during the day like while you're working, studying, or doing nothing, or you can charge it overnight while you sleep. But then there's a very important thing when we're talking about charging routines, right? So if you charge your iPhone during the day, there's a high chance you're gonna actually get your iPhone and use it while it's charging because it's very hard for us to actually not get our iPhone um, for a long period of time right like charge it and leave it there so we're gonna constantly get our iPhone while it's charging and then there's a risk of overheating and we're gonna talk about overheating in a second all right but keep that in mind because that's important okay and if you charge it overnight there's another very important thing as well because now we're talking about battery percentages because if you plug in your iPhone and go to sleep it's gonna charge charge and charge until it reaches hundred percent right so then we have to talk about battery percentages and if there is actually a margin if there is a range where you should keep your iphone battery right and the thing is there is there is a number and the correct range the safe range is between zero and 80 percent by now in 2024 you have probably seen this already so i've been creating content about this for many many years i've been one of the first youtubers to talk about this specifically that you shouldn't charge your iphone past 80 percent i have videos that i have uploaded many years ago they're still there they're still here on the channel so you can take a look if you want to and the thing is yes charging your iphone past 80 percent is actually bad for your iPhone battery it will in fact degrade faster and that's the whole point of the video right how to slow down the degradation process so if you charge past 80% you will actually speed it up 
you will actually degrade your iPhone faster. And by now, there are actually many ways that we can see that this information is true and that this information is valid and is correct and we can trust it. Uh, if you wanna get information from Apple themselves, it's super easy. Apple has many features built in the iPhone to prevent charging past 80%. So if you go to your settings and then you go to battery, and then you go there to battery health, we have a few options, a few features that will make it very, very clear that charging past 80% is bad. Like for example, optimize battery charging and 80% charging limit. So those are two features that are built exclusively for this to prevent and to stop charging past 80%. Please keep in mind that 80% charging limit is actually the best feature because it will literally stop when you're charging your iPhone at 80%. So you plug it in and you can leave your iPhone charging for multiple hours or days and it won't go above 80%. But the 80% charging limit feature is exclusive to the iPhone 15 series, right? But it makes it very clear. And of course, we have optimized battery charging as well, which when it's enabled and when it's working, because sometimes it doesn't work properly, um, it'll actually stop your battery charging at 80% when you are sleeping. So then it'll keep, it'll hold that charge at 80% and then it'll stay there throughout many, many hours while you're sleeping. And then when you are about to wake up, it's gonna charge up to 100%, but it won't keep your iPhone at 100% the whole night, just for a uh, very few minutes when you are about to wake up. So as you can see, those are very specific features just for this. This is Apple telling us that charging past 80% is bad. And it's not just Apple. This is now an industry standard, not only for smartphones, but actually for everything that actually has a lithium ion battery. So of course, all Apple products uh, you have all smartphones, Android smartphones, you have all tablets, laptops, electric cars. So all of those products right now, all new products that are being released for actually quite a while now, they do have limits on their software for this, for you to go ahead and set an 80% limit when you're charging your electric car, your laptop, your Android phone, your iPhone, and so on. So as I said, this is an industry standard and there's nothing we can do about it. It's annoying. Uh, it's, it's quite annoying the fact that we can't use our full iPhone all times, but that's the reality. It has to do with the physical and chemical properties of lithium ion batteries. This is not a really high tech part of your device. This is an old technology and it has limitations. So just to be very clear, you can charge your iPhone past 80%. You can charge your iPhone to 100%. It's up to you. But the thing is, you will degrade your battery faster and you will have a worse performance on your battery and your battery health will drop much faster if you compare with other users that just charge between zero and 80%. And still talking about percentages because as you probably noticed, that's the most important part of the video. If you choose to go ahead and charge your iPhone between zero and 80%, it's super important that you calibrate your iPhone battery every once in a while, so every 30 to 45 days. So it's important that you calibrate, which is you run two full cycles on your iPhone battery. I have a full dedicated video here on the channel, so I'll leave a card right here, link in the description as well, so you can go ahead and take a look. And this is so important because even the Apple native feature, the 80% limit feature on the iPhone 15s, right? They calibrate the iPhone automatically. So calibration is super important. Moving on, now we have to talk about some things you should pay attention to and you shouldn't do. So first we have to talk about overheating. So as I mentioned before, uh, overheating is really bad. And again, it has to do with lithium ion batteries. They don't like being exposed to extreme temperatures. And we have to focus on overheating because it's much easier to make your iPhone overheat. So as I mentioned before, avoid using your iPhone while you charge it because there's a high chance it will overheat. Uh, on top of that, be careful with the external temperature of 
your room, the place you're in, right? Uh, when you're using your iPhone, because this may cause your iPhone to overheat. And also pay attention to when you're charging your iPhone, depending on the case you're using, it may cause your iPhone to overheat. So sometimes it's better to just remove the case and charge it. So overheating is a huge thing. And of course it has to do with charging. So pay attention to overheating, pay attention if your iPhone is getting too hot, uh, when you're charging it in pretty much in any occasion and pay attention to that. And last but not least, we have to talk about accessories. So what are you actually using to charge your iPhone? What power adapter, what cable you're using? Because this also makes a huge difference. So you don't necessarily need to use authentic original Apple accessories because those are expensive and Apple doesn't include them in the box, as you know, the power adapter. So then you don't necessarily have to go ahead and buy authentic Apple accessories, but it's not recommended that you use counterfeit, fake, and just bad quality accessories either. So don't go ahead and buy one of those uh, kits, right, that you get with a power outlet and a cable in a gas station that has no brand that comes in a, like in a bag or something like that, okay? So don't do that. Go ahead and either use authentic accessories or accessories for well-known brands. So you can use like your Android phone, for example, power adapter or any USB-C cable that you have laying around, as long as it has at least a brand, at least some quality, and you know it's not a knockoff or a fake or a counterfeit or something that has no standard whatsoever, all right? So that's pretty much it. That's how you should charge your iPhone, what you need to pay attention to, what you need to be careful, and of course, pay attention to percentages and all of the other details, and I guarantee that your iPhone battery will last much longer, many, many years, and will give you a great performance and a great experience throughout the period, okay? So, that's it, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.